Welcome, this is the second movie in the Photoshop tutorials I'm doing, so let's get right into it. So I'm going to open up this baby photo that I have, and you'll see that the baby has got a scar on on his head, and um, the baby just had an operation recently, so um, let's see what we can do to get rid of that scar and a couple of ways that we can do that the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crop this image so that I only have the baby over here since I think that's the most important feature that I want to focus on today so I'm going to crop it so I'm going to select the crop tool here on the left I'm just going to drag a selection around the area that I want sort of like that That'll do. Okay, so here we have now this photo. And um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this layer so I have one of my original layers. Or well, semi original since I've already cropped it. Um, so uh, let's see what we can do. So I'm going to hold down the Apple key and spacebar to get my zoom tool. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to have a look at what I can do here. It looks a bit nasty, but um, <coughs> I'm sure we'll be able to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. So a couple of ways that we can get rid of it. And I'll start with these tools, and then we'll go from there. So here we've got the clone stamp tool. So how this one works is, is you'll have a circle, or the, the brush size there anyway, and you can change the brush size by pressing the um, bracket keys the two next to the P key on the keyboard and if you press the one you'll see it'll go smaller or larger so I'm happy with that brush size over there and what you need to do is you need to set a sample point from where you want to copy from so to do that you press the ALT key you'll see there'll be a little plus and you're going to say where do you want to copy from so you want to copy an area that has a similar texture or skin in this case so I've just uh, hold down ALT and left click where I want to copy from. So now when I start painting, you'll see that I'm painting on a new texture. Now in all fairness that this is not really the right tool for the job. That was just to show you that this, this I just wanted to show you this tool. Um, and you also have the pattern stamp one uh, we're not going to use this one today um, so I'm going to undo this because this is not the tool I wanted to use so it's purely for demonstration purposes there we go, let's undo then we have another tool two up from there that's called the spot healing brush tool it works in exactly the same way as the clone stamp tool also selecting alt and selecting the area we want to copy from data and it's giving me an error oh okay so I got the wrong tool we want the brush the healing brush tool and alt to get the tool and what this one does is instead of just copying it oh just copying the material over or over the area we want to replace it's going to blend it as well so let's see what that does. So I'm just going to paint over that section. You're going to see it's going to do a much better job of blending it together than we did before. So I'm going to resample from down here. And that's done. Not a perfect job, but a hell of a lot better than the, um, the clone tool. But... I can do this even better so I'm gonna just undo this again <clears throat> and here where the healing brush tool is I'm gonna click and hold my left mouse button down I'm gonna go for the patch tool and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can just have a better selection of what I'm taking and the patch tool I'm gonna draw a block around what I want to replace I'm just holding my left mouse button down 
drawing a block right around it. I don't want to go too much into the hair. So now you'll see the selection. And up here, I want to just draw your attention there that we're saying we want to take from the source or the destination. In this case, we want the source. So once I click in this area and I drag it, you'll see that it's going to copy texture from another area. So that'll do over there. Once I let go, and I'll deselect it, that's a pretty decent job that has blended that together. I mean, we can clear that up even more with the with with spending more time in it, but it's done a reasonably good job considering if I zoom this to 100%, which is print size. So uh, we'll clear up a couple of other areas that we need to focus on. <coughs> I'm going to go and select my um, healing brush again. And I'm going to just decrease my brush size a tiny bit. I'm going to go Alt to select a place to copy from. I'm just going to paint in some of the area. Go from here, Alt. Just increase my brush size just a little bit. So that's that's not bad. Not bad at all. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I don't know how well you can see on your screens. I mean, we could still probably clear it up a bit more, but. For, for demonstration purposes, that's fine. I'll show you one more. You see there's like little spots on them. Now, I don't know if those spots were there initially, but the photo will look much better if that spot was not there. So, we're going to go here by the healing brush. And instead of having used the healing brush, we're just going to use the spot healing brush tool. And we're going to reduce the size a bit, just to cover that. I'm just going to click on it, and that's going to fix that for me. So that's done a pretty good job, so what else can we do to um, make this photo stand out a bit? Well, we can mess about with the colours a bit, to give it a bit more colour. So we're just going to go Image, Adjustments, and go Levels. And when we look at our histogram over here, there's quite a bit of open space here. And so we're just going to push that up a bit. It's actually making it a bit dark for my liking. We'll just move it a tiny bit. Then we'll do. And the next thing we're going to do is we'll go adjustments and we'll go U and saturation. We'll just push up the saturation a bit to add a bit more colour to the photo. That'll do. Another thing we can do is we can take a bit of the brightness and contrast and Give it a bit more light. So that's a lot better. And I'm going to use one more tool over here. Go back to into levels. I just want to put up the mids a bit over there just to lighten the image up a bit more. A little bit more. That's a lot better. And then we're just going to go filter. We're going to do a bit of a sharpen. So I'm just going to look at my original. So the um, that's a bit much the. Just going to take it down a bit. Quite a lot. A little bit more. a little bit much so that's good enough so um, there we've just enhanced this image quite a bit uh, if we spend more time and we can clear it up a bit more um, for the better part if I had to spend more time in it I'd probably try and focus to get a bit more colour out of the shirt and more colour out of the eyes I think would make a big difference but um that's going to require me to use some masking techniques which is not covered in this tutorial. We'll get to those a bit later. 
So I hope this um, helped for some of you that wants to do some photo retouching. Um, that's one way you can do it. So um, I'll have another course up um, probably in the next week or so.